Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another episode. Today, we're gonna be talking about what's a better city to live in, Cancun or Merida, Mexico. Now, the reason I'm bringing this topic up today is because, again, it's uh, one of the topics that you guys uh, bring up from time to time and ask me um, as a question of, uh, you know, you guys are always asking me questions, so like that's one of the questions that I get asked a lot, you know, meaning, um, you know, which is a better place to live, you know, somewhere like Merida or somewhere like Anarco, like like uh, like Acapulco or Cancun or something like that. But basically, we're just going to be comparing, you know, right now, we're just going to be comparing Merida to Cancun. And why is that? Well, you know, basically because the thing is that like, you know, they're both in the Yucatan Peninsula. They're both very, you know, close to each other now. Cancun is in its own place called, uh, you know, Quintana Roo, and then Merida is in the Yucatan. So the Yucatan is the state, Quintana Roo is the state, you know, the state in which Merida is in, and Quintana Roo is the state in which Cancun is in. Now, there's two different, completely different states, you know, just like if you're in this, in the United States, just like if you're in Canada, just like if you're wherever you are, every country has different states, and um, for the most part, these states are very different from each other so the thing is that like okay so what happens is is like uh you know in, in my opinion i think that living in merida is um, is far superior than living somewhere like cancun and again this is just a personal taste you know today's uh, video is basically just going to be based off opinion you know based off uh you know my own personal taste my own personal um you know likes dislikes you know all that whole thing and um you know you guys can take it with a grain of salt and we can go from there i guess you know we can keep it keep it going in the comments but you know basically what it boils down to is the fact that you know somewhere like you know uh, a cancun is going to be um more similar similar to the u.s unfortunately and and i'm talking about the, all the negatives that come with it so if, if you're you know if you go somewhere you know like cancun you know there everything is number one everything is going to be way more expensive that's number one you know number two um you have a higher chance of crime over there and the reason that there's like a lot more crime in a place uh like cancun is just basically because you know in a place like that um there's a lot of tourism you know there's a lot of also incentive you know for them to you know to have a um like a drug um operation over there and the reason the reason being is because if you see cancun on the map it's on like right on the ocean it's on the gulf it's very perfectly located um in order to you know move things around from the u.s and into central america and vice versa so for anyone out there you know that's just a little curious that's basically how it goes you know um when you come out to Merida, you know Merida is is very is very much like like a small, quaint little town. It's um, out here. It's uh, you guys already know. It's like one of the safest places in all of the Americas. In fact, it's the safest place in all of Mexico, and you know basically the safest place in all of the Americas as well. You know outside of uh, like, uh, Ottawa, Canada. So you know right off the bat, it's. Um, it's again it's winning in that department you know when it comes to you know just uh, how safe is it how how much of a you know how you know how um yeah how safe it is you know right there it's already a, definitely a winning over cancun number two is the cost of living again moving out to cancun or to that to that coast all the way over there things are just way more expensive and in a lot of cases they're just as pricey as u.s prices and um and that's not, that's not good, you know what I mean? A lot of people move out here in order for a better quality of life. And that better quality of life constitutes uh, basically, um, you know, having, um, you know, uh, what is it like a cost of living at, at, at the minimum. And so, you know, the thing is that like somewhere like, uh, like Cancun, you know what I mean? Things are way more expensive because again, it's a tourist town. There's a lot of, uh, you know um action going on over there you know a lot of uh even though things like prostitution are legal all across mexico you know there are certain hotbeds in certain places in which uh you know a lot of these behaviors are going to be even more exploited so 
you know, just to answer that question right there, since we are talking about it, like a lot of people, a lot of guys ask me, hey, so how's that, uh, how does that situation work out here? How to get, you know, women or what have you. And the reality is, is that like, again, if you're out here in Merida, sure, you can find them. You know, I'm not gonna get into details there, you know, I'm trying to be a little friendly with the video here. Um, I know I got my female viewers, but the point is that, is that out here, it's a lot more difficult to find just like drugs and other shit because you know that's not what moves out here you know out here it's it's all about you know family friendly it's all about art and culture and all this other stuff so the reality is is that you know that stuff doesn't sell out here basically you know there's still a market for it just like there's a market for it you know um everywhere but basically you know it's not it's not even remotely close to the same as cancun you know people literally go to cancun to do lots of drugs to you know you know do prostitution you know to do a lot of horrible things like that or you know not so horrible it just depends on how you look at it but you know basically that's what you know cancun is all about you know cancun is like las vegas like miami like things so if you you know you might be into that kind of lifestyle you might be looking to live in that kind of world you know so to me you know coming from where i come from miami born and raised out there you know I, I, to me it's not something that i want to live in it's not somewhere i want to be it's not something that attracts me as a place of uh, where i, I want to live so out here i might be like around 30 minutes away from the beach give or take but the beach is, is still right there and then even if i you know um, were to live on the beach there's a few of you guys out there that you know have inquired about moving to the beach some of you guys that are living on the beach if you notice you know again if you you know the thing for me living on living on the beach is not necessarily a, a good option just because of my limited resources at the moment living on the beach would actually make it pretty difficult for me personally in order to uh to live out there so the thing is if you have a little bit of better resources if your resources are a little better and you, you know you can live on the outskirts of town or outside and like you know right on the beach but close you know but uh, uh, far away from you know other you know other other you know again like a town or anything like that then you know it's it's good you know you can go out to progresso you can go out to the beaches out here and live in semi seclusion or if you want to live in progresso you're still living you know kind of like amongst the people and what do i mean because remember like if you're the city folk you're used to having everything around you but the more rural you go the more difficult it is to you know just go to the mart the, you know the quickie mart to go pick something up or go to the pharmacy you know or anything like that you might have to take a little bit of a drive it might be a little uncomfortable for me i, I like being where i am because i'm on foot all the time right now i'm I, you know i'm on foot and so therefore i can get around very easily and go hop on a bus things like that it's may, might not be so easy out there but if you move somewhere to like cancun you, you know you're probably living on the beach you know you, you're you know not everywhere in cancun but you know most likely you are and uh, the closer you are living to the action the more expensive things are going to be and this is the way it is because even where i live even though my rent and my everything is dirt cheap it's actually cheaper out here i'm living in one of the most expensive parts of town which is in its central the other expensive parts of town are in the north and stuff like that so here i'm paying you know the, my cost is basically you know um my cost of uh my cost out here is for the property value the land value you know the fact that i'm in the center of the city in a historical touristy part that's why i pay more for my area in the north you're not necessarily paying for land value per se you're paying for convenience so when you live in the north you're basically paying for the convenience of uh all the american conveniences you know like that there's a starbucks at every corner the mall you know all the all the all the first world conveniences exist here in mexico in merida i mean they all exist here in merida they exist in all of mexico but they definitely exist out here in, in merida oh, oh, oh this guy over there it's crazy driving but anyways but they definitely exist out here in merida um but they're just in the north part of the city since i come from america i just came from la and that whole thing you know to me it's like i don't i was born into that i don't want to live like people live in the north a lot of people like you guys you know from canada the us europe you don't want to live like i live you know some of you guys want to live in the northern part and so that's the thing you know out here you get to live in the upper one percent type uh lifestyle 
and um, you know with uh, you know uh, what is it with a very very cheap uh, cost of uh, living you know so meaning you know you can live in the you know um, in the north part of the city you can even live in uh, you know golf courses and uh, you know there's places you know there's tons of like upper one percent stuff out here but you know basically if you're middle class you can afford it now if you go to Cancun you know not really you know Cancun it's back to you know how that's supposed to be meaning that it's gonna be more expensive for you you know to live out there and that's basically it you know what I'm gonna sit here I'm gonna finish this video might as well but yeah so the thing is that like you know moving out to Cancun is um, is, is it's not you know, look, so this video, this video is talking about which is better, you know, Merida or Cancun. So again, in my opinion, I really do think it's Merida by far, because again, it's all about quality of life for me per se. I'm not, I don't want to live on the beach, you know what I mean? So this is perfect. I grew up by the beach. I don't want to live, um, you know, somewhere where, you know, it's really close to where I used to live, you know, meaning that there's a lot of violence, you know, there's a lot of, um, you know, drugs, there's a lot of, um, you know, underground culture i don't want to be a part of that you know again i grew up around all that i don't I'm, I'm good you know so to me you know there's a lot of lot of things about you know cancun that just turn me off you know and again cancun yeah i don't know it just feels weird sitting down but you know the end the thing is that cancun is basically you know just um like any other tourist uh, type destination in mexico which has been ruined by the gringos you know it's specifically americans and so you know cancun and Alca alcapulco are two main destinations um the reality is that like if you want to live on the beach and you want to live like have an awesome mexican life out here you know there's other better options you know um if it's all if, if all you're looking for is the beach and that's like 100 percent, you know so if you guys you know are out there and you guys are looking to move out here and the reason you don't want to pick Merida is because of the beach situation again you know there's a bunch of other cities out here in in all of Mexico that are on the beach that are way better options than Cancun or even Alcapulco now it's not to say that Alcapulco isn't great and Cancun isn't great but it's more like um, it's only great if you have the financial ability to live in those places but the reality is is that if you're gonna be living large in, in certain places out here you might as well just stay in the states or you might as well just stay in your first world country because you know it's just more beneficial the reason most people want to come out here is again for better quality of life you know for a lot of for many reasons everyone is very different but the reality is that I think the reason that a lot of people are flocking towards Merida, and I'm not just talking about you guys watching my channel, I'm talking about all other Mexicans and a lot of other Latin American uh, countries are flocking directly here to Merida because, you know, this, this place is beyond phenomenal. Again, it's the lowest cost of living, it's the safest city, it's beyond growing. Sure, there's a lot of things that are happening behind the scenes that, you know, we got the good, the bad, the ugly, it's not all good all the time. And that's why, um, you know, I'm trying to talk about on this channel, we're just bringing up all of these other, you know, um, topics of discussion, you know, of all the things that happen here, not just the good. Um, but the reality is that when you come, when you, when, you know, when you come down to it, you know, this city out here is beyond phenomenal in comparison to, you know, not just many cities in Mexico, but a good majority of the cities in all of Latin America and all of the Americas, period. You know, basically when it comes down to just the basic necessities of uh, cost of living, tranquility and um and great you know food and culture and um and you know being able to raise a family and all that good stuff you know this is like a, a major leader it's a major leader and a lot of awesomeness like that so you know to me like right now I, I mean i'm just out here you know i got my bag full of empty beer bottles i'm about to go in here and um exchange my empty beer bottles for full beer bottles and it's only going to cost me like three bucks to get four new beers of Modelo, you know, some of the best beer, you know, my favorite anyway, and um, just living life. So the thing is, again, you know, there's a lot of reasons why, you know, a lot of people want to move out, you know, to a place like Mexico or even Latin America. Um, but I think that basically a lot of it boils down to just the basic necessities of, uh, you know, cost of living, safety, and being able to raise a family, you know, just, you know, just basic stuff, you know, like education, you know, whatever, you know, really just super duper basic stuff. And um, the reality is, is that, you know, 
I, I honestly think that a place like Merida, and there's a lot of other cities out there in Mexico that are just as awesome, or you know, even maybe awesomer. Let's uh, talk about it in the comments. You know, I would love to hear what you guys have to say. But basically, when it comes down to it, I, and, and Merida is definitely a million times better than Cancun because there's nothing that you can get in Cancun that you can't get here outside of, you know, again, certain hard drugs, you know, certain, you know, underground things. And, and, you know, again, if you want things bad enough, you can always get them out here. But the reality is that it's, to me, it's not worth it. You know, it's not worth it because it's like, you know, there's a lot of people that live in Miami and love that lifestyle. A lot of people live in Las Vegas and love that lifestyle, but a lot of people that don't. A lot of people would rather live in uh, San Diego over Los Angeles. A lot of people would rather live in small town USA and that stuff. So, you know, living out here is more like living in a San Diego or a small town USA type of thing. In fact, it's a growing city. It's a growing metropolitan area. It's only gonna keep growing and growing. Uh, again, my plan, like I'm, I'm sure a lot of you guys is, is to buy property, you know, on the outskirts of, of the city because eventually as the years go by, you know, that will be part of the city. And, and it's just like everything else, you know, coming from a place where we see a lot of growth, especially in the United States of America, we can see ahead and definitely see that, you know, this city is not only gonna keep growing, but it has to grow, you know, one way and uh, it's not gonna grow up per se, it's gonna grow outwards. And so, you know, being able to get like land for extremely, extremely cheap out here, you know, being able to buy land, you know, um, you know for just a few thousand dollars or what have you, outside of um, you know the city's you know the city limits you know about 30 minute drive to get here it's beyond phenomenal it really is and so you know being able to buy that and then you know being able to to you know um, get the fruits of your labors back from it you know as opposed to you know where a lot of places you're buying property you're buying homes you're buying anything and it's basically just uh, you know costing you money in order to have these things as opposed to the opposite in which you know these things are supposed to be um, you know, um, um, what is it, preservers of wealth, you know, buying property, buying a home, you know, having these things uh, as part of your, you know, um, your portfolio, you know, which is, you know, your savings and all that shit, you know what I mean? That's basically it. So, you know, again, a lot of people are moving out here of all ages, basically because they just want more security out of their life, you know, more security out of everything. And so, you know, moving to a place like Cancun, it's basically, again, if you have a lot of money, you're moving to Cancun, Acapulco, and you're living in a gated community, you know, outside from, you know, the disturbance of the, the, the people and all that stuff. But, you know, the reality is, is that. Hey guys, sorry about that. As you guys already know, I had one of those famous SD card errors. You already know that I'm working on getting a brand new camera for, a brand new camera for Christmas, some new equipment. So just, uh, you know, bear with me, you know, um, as we get through this together, guys. So, you know, as I was saying, you know, the reason I wanted to compare, you know, Medina, Mexico to Cancun is because there's a lot of you guys out there, a lot of you guys that are constantly always asking me and, um, you know, wanting to know what the major difference is because a lot of you guys are contemplating, you know, moving out to Mexico, moving out of your comfort zone, moving to a different country. And you guys really want to, you know, outweigh the pros and the cons. And uh, a lot of you guys, I think, are under the misconception that a place like Cancun or even Acapulco or other places like that are relatively safe when they're not. They're not safe at all and they're expensive and they're the opposite of uh, a place like Merida is. Uh, and that's like one million percent. So, you know, that's why I wanted to make this video because, you know, there's a lot of you, you guys that, you know, some of you guys do know about these things. Some of you guys don't know about these things. And so, you know, the reality is, is that, you know, I want to make these videos just to inform you guys, you know, so you guys make the best possible decision because, the thing is, you know, there's, there's, you know, Cancun is great, you know, for certain things. You know, Cancun is wonderful, um, and Acapulco are wonderful. If you're in the upper one percent, if you're looking to party, if you're looking to do heavy drugs, if you're looking to live and do a certain kind of lifestyle, Cancun is great. You know, just like Miami, Las Vegas, and all these places are great. But I think the majority of you guys out there are just looking for a safer place to live, looking for a lower cost of living looking for a more tranquil place, you know, somewhere where, you know, you can actually enjoy life, a better quality of life, better quality of living. And you guys are looking for, you know, a bunch of other things, you know, where you can raise a family better, where you can, you know, do a lot of these other things that you want to do in your own country, but you can't. And so therefore you have to go outside of uh, your comfort zone and literally move to another country in order to just get the same things that you were promised um, in your own country you know, which is just the basic necessities of living a regular basic life. And that's it. And so, you know, just like a lot of people leave 
you know latin american countries or leave other poorer countries you know and go to the america go to america you know to live that american dream well you know most americans and most canadians and most europeans you know we don't have uh, that dream anymore to to speak of and so you know that's why we're constantly exploring uh the rest of the world and trying to figure out where we would fit best you know some of you guys you know want to live out here in a place like uh, many of mexico some of you guys want to live in asia some of you guys want to live in other parts of latin america you know and all the other uh, some of you guys want to live in uh, eastern europe you know, the point is, is that, you know, we're all looking for a, a brand new home. We're trying to find our home. And um, all we can do is just, uh, you know, educate ourselves as best as possible. And then, uh, you know, make that decision when that decision is uh, made, you know, is, uh, you know, is uh, when the right time for that decision comes. And so that's it. So again, guys, you know, this video is just basically to, you know, just talk about a few um, misconceptions about, you know, um, the comparisons of, uh, you know, Cancun and Merida and just to give you a quick overview if you like this kind of video if you like this kind of content and you guys uh, You know want to see more you guys want to have more of a discussion about this particular topic Then please let's do so and I'll do some actual research and we can uh, you know go about this uh, You know video because I would love to talk more about this and it's um, you know I'm trying to make videos that you guys want to watch so guys you already know the deal Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, and please stay awesome. And um, that's it, guys. I got to get out of here. I love you guys, and uh, I got to get back in there. I got to get my beer, all right? So I'll see you guys later, guys. Hey, guys. Me and Lambo are still here. Show's not over. Just wanted to give you guys a quick reminder to please check out the online store where you can find all kinds of awesome merch. Also, check out joseatiaga.com where, you know, it's the website for me and all this other stuff. So also, you know, check out Discord. It's an online community in which everyone, all my fans, hang out. Again, just, you know, look at the, click at the link in the bottom description of every video here um, where you can just join the community and join and continue the conversation where we talk about, you know, all this and beyond. So please, don't forget to check us out there. Check me out on Instagram. Check me out on Twitter. Check me out everywhere. In fact, always look at the description of every video. You can find all kinds of stuff at the bottom of the description of every video. Again, I'm always giving you all kinds of goodness. So, you know, whether you're checking the description of the video or whether you're watching the next video, which you're going to see some here now, you're going to have all kinds of fun. So, again, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys when you...